Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. As you may notice, I'm not where I left off last time, I'm back in my apartment. Um, I did a few more scanner missions in between episodes and since it was the middle of the night I returned to my apartment and took a nap. It's a new morning and yeah, I think today I would actually like to continue with my main mission. Um, we did talk to Jodie the last time and she told us where to look for Evelyn in the Mega Building H8. So I guess I will just uh, see if I can fast travel somewhere in the vicinity of that place. Also, since I'm here I may as well check out my messages but nothing new here. I mean everyone who wants to message me can just do so. Uh, via my phone or whatever that is speaking of it <laughs> this is the Jinguji guy right Zane Jagger V I can't thank you enough my gratitude together with a discount in the package stop by Jinguji and we'll choose something nova for you <laughs> even now if you want or maybe in an hour don't keep me in your debt longer than necessary <laughs> yeah it's probably going to be a bit longer than that by the way, do you have a sweet tooth for gossip? I found some very interesting deeds about the Maxtech officer that questioned us. Huh. Hit me. Hmm, appreciate the offer, but I don't like sticking my nose in other people's biz. <laughs> well, as it happens, I totally like sticking my nose in other people's biz. So sure, give it to me. I couldn't help thinking I saw her somewhere, so I checked the N54 news archive and what do you know, she was a cyber psycho. On January the 14th she killed 14 people. Her name is Melissa Rory, they reconditioned her and forced her to join the Max Tech. Ironic twist of fate, right? Indeed. Also I think wasn't the official line that you can't really cure cyber psychos then again it's kind of questionable how cured she is so they just put her uh, aggression to a different sort of use i guess but i mean she is um has herself more under control than the other cyber psychos we've seen so clearly there's something you can do about that condition no shit and they're not scared she might fly off the handle again she seemed weirdly excited about that bloodbath in the store. Indeed. May doesn't surprise me. Who'd know a cyber psycho better than someone who gets a kick out of slaughtering people? Um, yeah, I wonder how they make sure that she's not going completely out of control. As long as she protects me against psychos, she can get a kick out of anything for all I care. Anyway, see you in my bastion of taste and refinement. <laughs> okay, so I can return there and get a discount maybe or some new stuff. But um, not today. Today I would like to go and look for Evelyn and... Yeah, I guess this would be the closest fast travel spot. Alright, here we are. Now I just have to find the entrance to this building, I guess. I mean, this has got to be the mega building, and it looks like this is where we're going inside. Mega building H8, and we actually have a proper fast travel spot here, but I guess I hadn't found this one so far. But you ran a discount yesterday. Half price on everything. And I sold twice more stock than usual. Who are these guys? Let me check. 
Tiger Claw, guys. So, you broke even? Yes. <laughs> the goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The stand's Tiger Claw's property, and you're Tiger Claw's property. Wow. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> what exactly is your problem? I mean, he apparently made money. The same amount of money he would have made if he hadn't uh, run a discount. Can't talk to him though. Easy level. Let me play it. You can watch. What are you playing here? Some sort of poker, maybe? Come on, what's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, so there's nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man, you're <laughs> screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere? That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. Said yourself, we got everything here. Tombs, stores, eateries. And that's all you ever dreamed of. Okay. Good to know. Well, that seems to be some kind of domestic issue and probably not my business. Um, okay, I guess I'm supposed to take the elevator. Let's call the elevator. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your pets. Well, in that case, I think I prefer the first one. Anyway, clouds. What have I missed this go. time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence. We already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. True. And apparently, tiger claws have ties to Arasaka. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised? Hmm. No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Maybe she just didn't have any other place to go. But yeah, you're in a great mood today. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around Oops. a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. Well, good for you. But um, is there a reason you don't believe Judy? You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Yeah, you need to do a little bit better than that. Anyway, we have arrived at our destination. So hold so on. You take the blow up doll, go. remodel the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidel. Uh, no. Well, how's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Because the ass is meat, Welcome not latex. <laughs> that's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, that. I don't even want to know what they have been talking about. But I guess that's where I need to go. Clouds, sit and wait until the evening. Oh, um... Apparently, I'm too early. <laughs> Since I slept until the morning, and now I have to sit here and wait. Okay, let's do it. Sometime later. Head to clouds in the evening. Okay. Let's go. Check in at the clouds reception. Welcome to Clouds, Skin where we know what you're looking for. 
Okay. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Um. Checking in the personnel isn't safe. But I don't have enough points for this one. Jack in, please. Um, but I'm actually just looking for an Evelyn Parker. Looking for an Evelyn Parker? She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. But I kind of need the original. Yes, I just want to talk to her. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything <laughs> useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own hmm. game. I guess that could work. Um, anyway, I would like to use the other dialogue options as well, so you know why I'm here? How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Well, my current desire is to talk to Evelyn. Anyway, how exactly does this work? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences okay. in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but <laughs> that would strip it of mystery and suspense, what? wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. I you're see. saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get hmm. what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. But I do get what I want. Anyway, the so-called dolls are humans, though. They're just being controlled by an algorithm. Okay, well, that's interesting. Check in, please. But okay, let's do it. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. A safe word? Okay, um... Afterlife Samurai. Uh, I don't know. Afterlife? Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Gale, Divine, Sky, Celeste, Sun, Azure, Angel, Mistral, Rain, Storm. They all have kind of celestial names. Okay, now it's just Sky and Angel. Two matches. Interesting. Is that Why? normal or...? Who can say what is normal? <laughs> You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. I'm sure you're saying that Our to every system customer. system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Um, I, I don't know. Let's go with Sky. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Um, 500 euro dollars. Okay, sure. There you go. Not that much. And I mean, it makes sense that and all the names are kind of celestial. The payments come through. The place is called the Flowers. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, right. please. Is that it? <clears throat> 
We have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Okay. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. <laughs> deposit your weapons. Okay, so I can't take them with me. But that's fine. Only I don't two need willing weapons. to spread their legs for you. Sad. <laughs> find any use Go for eat a dick, inside. Johnny. Are you telling me that normally you get a larger you enjoy your stay. Uh, selection and I only got two? <laughs> but okay, um, whatever. Let's look around a little bit. So booth 9 is over here, but she told me I can, you know, look around a bit first. So maybe I will do that. Ooh, we certainly have some potential enemies and cameras I mean, I can probably turn them off but I guess it's not necessary can I just go through here not bad but it would be much better real I would eat those thighs yes. what do you mean real she's all ones and zeros do you mean I can ask her to do anything literally anything ask about asking, man. Just gotta be programmed. As establishments fuck sideways go, this one takes the whole damn pie. <laughs> hear that? At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? I don't really want to hear more about your fantasies, to be honest. Hey, what do we got here? Supernova, the unofficial biography of Lizzie Wizzy. That doesn't look like something I need to read right I now. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. <laughs> you can take hey. it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there! From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. <laughs> Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. So we have a VIP area in here as well. <sighs> What do we got here? I can force this open, but maybe I don't want to snoop around that much at the moment. Oh, um, yeah, we have another door here that I can open, but maybe before I start forcing open any doors, I will actually take a look at my proper quest here. So this is booth number nine, right? Guess that makes you a real deviant. Because of you? Probably because of you, yes? But I had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. <laughs> okay, so do you think there was like one choice for each of us? But I mean, I chose Sky. Does this mean that you would have chosen Angel? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> anyway, let's go inside here. I'm Sky, and you must be Valerie. Hmm. Is that her real name? Valerie? But I prefer V. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. <laughs> okay, then. Interesting. V. Because so far no one has used um, her real name. Not even Jackie. Well... Looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. <laughs> well, you're certainly not fooling around and getting straight to uh, the heavy stuff, huh? Okay, I can just... An any for your thoughts? Use my safe word to end this, but I mean, I need to get some information here. So how do you know I'm dying? How do you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, 
The loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. I'm looking for someone. There's something in those mirrors. What do you mean by that? There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. It is kind of I'm what you do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. And you're doing that by um, reminding me that I'm going to die. But the truth is I'm just looking for someone. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Uh, tell me where Evelyn is. Just gonna talk in circles, in riddles. Yeah, what do you mean by that? You just gonna talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? <laughs> Something like that. Try me. But I really just need to know where Evelyn is. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. <laughs> you always get your way. I mean, it seems like she's trying to sound deep, but a lot of these uh, words are basically just empty phrases. Hey. Talk to me. Um, that is what fulfilling my deepest desires looks like. Yeah, I'm slightly uh, surprised by this. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Hmm. Now move on already. Well, I can't really move on because I'm going to die again pretty soon. You can't come to terms with something like that, so I just give up. And any for your thoughts? Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to come to terms with that, especially since, uh, you know, the clock is still ticking. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Well, I hit a few bums in the road. Still want to be the best pure fantasy that... Ah, uh, maybe not... Uh, given up on it entirely, so... I guess I'll pick this option. Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. <laughs> Just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. <laughs> I mean, that is actually very true in V's case. She's literally becoming someone else. Not gonna die completely, the void freaks Silent. me out. Why? Because I need to think. I feel, at least in this kind of situation, they could have turned off, you know, this mechanism where the NPCs start to remind you that you need to talk. <laughs> because, you know, it's it's a very personal, private and heavy conversation, so... Hey, talk to me. Let your customer think about what they're trying to answer. I guess I'm not gonna die completely. I will be on the relic, maybe. <laughs> At least partially. The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what 
what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's <laughs> head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm scared of the unknown, of dying again. Can't imagine what it's like to become someone else. Yeah, I mean, how would you even imagine that? Silent. I'm afraid of becoming Why? someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear? is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. So what now? Yeah, what am I going to do with that? <sighs> so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. <laughs> Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. I mean, that's very encouraging, actually. But I'm not sure if I can manage that. I keep up with everything that's changing. You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, <laughs> kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Well, um, thanks for the advice, I guess. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Okay, so I guess I'm going to use my safe word to end this. But I don't really know where Evelyn is. She hasn't really given me much information here. Afterlife. Well. Oh, what's going on? Suddenly it's all different. Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk oh, to I you. See. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Nope, nope, um, I just wasn't here for this kind of talk. This wasn't what I expected, thanks for the chat, that was refreshing. I mean, it was interesting, at least. Here, you should go. A lot of things been going on in my head lately. But this was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. <laughs> I get why people come here. Come back. But... I need something else. Okay, so we can talk again about Evelyn. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Need your help, please, you're good looking. It'd be a shame to lose that. I'll pay you for info. So I can... If you're done here, you should go. Ask her nicely. I can threaten her or I can bribe her. I don't know. I feel she deserves some money if she's going to help me. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddie's and that girl of yours. I could get Fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. <laughs> um, start talking, notice anything unusual. 
All right, here's your money. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Okay. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. So you say a customer attacked her? A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Hmm. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. I see. And where exactly did it happen? Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. And is it occupied now? This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... All right, so can I just get in? Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah, and do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. So, who exactly is Tom? Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. I Booth see. two, I think. Okay. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after mm -hmm. all. So we probably have to get into the VIP area after all. Yes, we do. But we can also investigate Evelyn's booth. So I may want to start with that. Pani right over here. Okay, I can, I can just open it. Here we go. Let's take a Ooh. look, shall we? Well, apparently I already found blood. Blood. Oh, it's over here. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Blood stains. Surface liquid master cleaner 9000. Amount large. Original liquid blood. So they try to clean it. Um. Okay, do we have anything else around here? See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. Hmm. They rip it out? Wonder why. Port frame, port for doll chips removed. Removed from its system, possibly damaged. Wonder why that is the case. And Johnny Silverhand, no affiliation. Holoview, police holoview, status active. Reconstructed with holograms. Oh, well, this is something I should probably check out. Um, yep, that's all I can find around here. Play projection. Sure, let's have a look. Hmm, what's this? Well, there she is, Evelyn. Huh? Oh dear. This is normal. Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Uh -huh. Something bitter in the ass. What happened here? Oh, okay, so that's how the blood ended up on the wall. This is pretty terrifying. What could do something like that? What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Hmm. Not like any cyberpsychosis I've seen so far. Could be a remote hack. Oh, could it? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. Okay, so. Something happened to her? Maybe a hack? I 
wonder though what the significance of the missing port is in that um, context. Hidden camera. Spyware Model X317 inactive. Huh. It's inactive, but maybe it was active at some point. Is there anything else that I've missed? No, looks looks like this is all. Okay, um that is going to be helpful to some degree, but it doesn't tell me where Evelyn is now. Which means I need to get into the VIP area now. Also, um maybe I will turn this off. But I also would like to hack it to take control. Okay, we have quite a few cameras here so let's see what I can see I may as well start marking all potential enemies I mean since I don't have any weapons I would prefer not to get into a fight but if I were to get into a fight I can do without weapons This is all just the area we've seen before. Ooh. Okay, so we have access to other areas of this place. I mean, this could be the VIP area for all I know. Um. Don't want to mark whatever that is. <laughs> There's clearly someone behind this wall. And this is back in the normal area, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can look into this room. <laughs> sure if it's going to help me in any form. Anyway, I think that's all of the cameras. Let's quit out of here and let's try to get into the VIP area. Again, let me turn off the cameras just in case. So I probably can't just, no, I can't just walk through here, but I mean, we have seen... VIP customers only. We have seen potential options here. We have a door that I can force open. And, oh, this is just the bathroom. Um, maybe I should take down some of the guards, just in case. Um, he has a VIP token. Oh, well, maybe with that token I can actually get inside the VIP area without breaking down any doors. I should uh, have a look at that. But I would also like to have a look behind this door. Clear shelf. Oh, there's an access port. Sure. May as well hack into this one. Um, let's see. 55... 55.7a. 1c. Okay, this should at least give me, like, two of them. Um... 55, 1C. There we go. And got some loot here. But it looks like this is just a dead end. Alright. So, um. Can I. Okay, I can't open this door now. 
And I'm guessing this is probably just an alternate way inside, huh? The question is, do I want to open it anyway? Okay, I see. It's a different way inside. Um... Well, maybe... Should take down some of these guys. And is there anyone else around here? No, I think I'm good. But maybe I can find some loot. Okay, we got another door here. Um... But, except for some loot, nothing of interest inside here. Nope. Also, I didn't loot this guy. Oh, he just has a knife. And we have another one of these. Again, let's hack into this one. 1C. One um, 1C, E9. And I need another 1C. There we go. Not too difficult. Storage? Where does this go to? Okay, VIP lounge. Um... And, oh, it's yet another access point. <laughs> sure. I'll have a look at this one as well. Uh, okay. E9, BD. 55, again, this should at least give me two of them. 55, 1C, 55. And that's another triple. Um, and now what? What is this over here? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what I just did. You better what keep this have? short and sweet. Anything Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. <laughs> even for me. More like... Okay, life. anyway, I'm inside the VIP area now. Um, let's look around a little bit. Maybe we can talk to the barkeeper here. Yep, it's kind of quiet here. This place always this dead. Thought I heard a tumbleweed roll by. <laughs> dead for you. Lively for others. For me, just right. If you say what so. What can I get you? Um, I don't know. Got a house special? Got a house special? I'll take it. What do you mean exactly? Top shelf. Looking to put the edge on, not take it off. What are you doing? It depends what you like. Go with your gut. Surprise me. You are a little bit twitchy. Okay, so, but instead of a house special, he's just giving me his inventory and nothing looks really that um, unusual, so never mind. But I could buy like a shotgun apparently. And what do we got here? The foodie guide to Night City. Again, doesn't look like I need to read this now. Um, yeah, there's someone behind you really think they remember this nothing. wall. And That's the whole point. it looks not like... Not a I may so have time, to restart the conversation where we left off. Oh, this is where I need to go. Okay, so Tom's inside here. Okay, we got apparently Tom inside this booth and I will go and talk to him, but the episode is getting kind of long, so we are going to do this in the next one. So yeah, as always, uh, thank you for watching 
and see you again next time.